welcome to my third vlog of Iran. I really hope you've been enjoying them. It's just a little glimpse into another misunderstood country and get to discover the real Iran instead of the Iran you see in the media, which is quite negative. And especially with all the things that are going on just now politically, I just want to say that you shouldn't confuse the media's picture to what actually goes on. I had never been to Iran before and I was pleasantly surprised. It's very different to Pakistan in many ways. The food is different, the culture is slightly different, The um, just a lot of things. And uh, oh yeah, you have to wear the headscarf in Iran when you're outside. I mean, I was there in winter, so I didn't find it that difficult because I was quite cold and I was in the north most of the time. So it was okay. But when I looked around, a lot of the women, they wore the headscarf like right back. Yeah, so I found that whole experience very interesting. The food is really amazing in Iran and they have a good balance of healthy foods as well as the meats and everything like that. The people are the friendliest approachable and very welcoming and they're just the culture the history it's something to be seen and people shouldn't be scared because there's it's a very safe country it's just not what you expect like when i arrived it felt so european i don't know what i really expected actually and each part of the the country is so unique as well and i recommend that you visit it's something you shouldn't miss i hope you enjoy all my videos i have more to come and i hope it opens your eyes a little bit and shows you that the media, you know, they're kind of not showing the complete truth. Okay, bye! This is cinema. And it's only Iranian films. How much is it to go? This whole building's a cinema. Six cinemas. Look, you can buy these things to take into the cinema. Apparently this is a government-owned building. Oh, wow. My god, you can take sandwiches and... Cool. Oh, you can buy jewelry in the cinema and CDs. This is still the cinema. This is all the cinema building. <laughs> oh, you can get fresh orange juice. This is all south. The south. What? The south is full of people making the south. So, what do you call these mountains then? It's a fast food place. And look, they have hand sanitizer. And you order your food here, and they deliver to you. Iran pays for transvestites to have their, have a sex change, so they, because they don't believe in like being in between, either a man or a woman. I'm sure there's other places that pay for that, but the government pays. <laughs> so this is the bakery, and this is how they advertise their bread. <laughs> This is 10 pence here. <laughs> nice. All the buses are just 10 pence to go. Okay. Um, Bargain. <laughs> How were they separated? By the bus. So women sit in the front and men sit in the back of the bus. It's quite modern, no? What does that mean? I don't know. You can't. This whole children, they already made it, they are going to renew it. So what? This is just art. Oh, oh look, it says it here. So many, it's got mirror. Oh, it's just been put up. There's a, another park, that's an old park as well. There's hundreds of these things. See that thing there? The biggest mosque in the whole world. Which one? I'm not finished yet. Oh, that one. It's so big. So, why do you have these gutter things? Which gutter? What's this for? This is for the water pumps. Do you have monsoon? No, water comes from monsoon. goes there and goes uh, see the trees. Holy moly! This is a charity box randomly in the street. Oh look, the mountain as well. You can see the mountain in the background. This is pay meter. It's like an oyster card. So you can use it for bus. Bus underground and what? Parking. That's very modern. Plus you can play for charity as well. Really? Traditional Iranian furniture. Since being here, my lips and my hands have been, become so dry, like, oh my god, so painful. Really weird, that's not happened to me for a long, long time. 
They said because it's cold, like winter, and it's really dry. The first day I came back, and then suddenly something started happening. I was like, what the? So look at this lady. This is what Iran was like, the woman dressed before the regime, like in the Shah time. And obviously Persian carpet. This guy does fortune telling. <laughs> the bank. So you can send from one car to another on yeah. via cash machine? Up to 3 million to man. 3 million to man is about 500 pounds. Wow, you can send 500 pounds from a, a machine? Shop where you can buy foreign stuff. Lines and they make more smear to me. All this line, not long. Waiting to go to the mosque. <laughs> so what is this? Park your arbor attach. This water and fire. And what the biggest park is? The most expensive. Oh, the most expensive yeah. park in the world. Yeah, it's been so much money. It's expensive, it's expensive. Yeah. Ooh, it's pretty. It spends millions of pounds. Why? Because <laughs> they have money. And then was the sanction, remember? Then you don't have sanction. So all the money was stuck in the country. See, for example, every country is so expensive to make. Yeah? It's all art. Art. <laughs> the light. I thought art is not Islamic. What was that big pole for? They call it pole tabiat. The tabiat means uh, nature. This is for ponies. The ponies. Ponies. <laughs> oh my god, that's so weird. They rent a bike and a special two-wheel, you know, electronic thing. You can go. They rent it as well. Why would you want to get the wind and bring it down? Because mm, yeah, it's very hot. So houses look like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this? It's just art. <laughs> so much art in this country. <laughs> I've never seen a park like this before. Very nice, huh? It's really strange. Oh, they have music playing. They have music playing in the park. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, this is this is what a ship. It's a real ship, and they made it like a. A restaurant. It's probably like one degree right now or zero. I just don't know. Or maybe minus one. It's so cold, my hands are freezing. Ooh, wow. The longest motorway in the Middle East. Apparently. Oh my goodness. Planetarium. You're here. Goose, 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 got a statue. Ooh, so. so you buy plants there and you have a disco coffee shop here. That is stone. For some more art. <laughs> this is chamomile tea, although it doesn't smell like it at all. And then they give you this to put inside. Common here that uh, doesn't make any difference. <laughs> 